you won't see this gate anywhere else in Guwahati. Uh, this is called a moon gate. Um, it's a very oriental culture. So yeah, it uh, brings in the good vibes. So I thought, why not be the first one to make this gate here. Uh, if you focus on the mandala, you'll see that everything is made of food. Like everything here is food. In the center there is the noodles, spaghetti meatballs, chicken, nachos, all that. Like it's now quite a long story. Like this is one of my first ventures like as a business. But before that... Love it. <laughs> yeah, before that uh, I was in Christ University, Bangalore. So I stayed there for like, uh, I was in Bangalore for seven years. At that time I was in a, uh, you could say a dark, dark space that time. I was very uh, unsure about life, what to do, what not to do, etc. So a lot of things happened in between. I got my composure and everything, martial arts happened. And then I came here. Uh, I've always been a burger fanatic. So patio itself has the word patty, and um, it's actually a combin It's a word. Patio in French means uh, veranda. Huh. It's a outdoor dining area, and I was a burger lover from past. So anywhere I go, first thing I will try is burgers. So I came back from Bangalore. Bangalore serves amazing burgers, and here I saw the idea of burger is. Uh, your patty, a lot of mayo, and uh, that's it. There is no like twist and turns in burgers, so I thought, why not? And patty is a crucial part of a burger, so that's why patty. It's only been a short while, six months only. Uh, I think the key to becoming a good boss is to be like a good mother. I think. I I, I think that works. Like now in a generation, everyone wants their own space I guess so uh, more than money people want time people are willing to work for lesser if they get more time and obviously they want a boss who is more human whom they can relate to they can share their problems with someone who will reciprocate huh. instead of treating them as like machines you know I mean that's that's the key so in Patio, uh, I think we are the first restaurant in Guwahati to ever introduce uh, food challenges and I see a lot of other restaurants trying to copy us. The day I quit smoking was when I started martial arts. That was uh, June 23rd, 2013. So that's six years now. So I started then. First I started as uh, like remedy for my own self you know when someone is having a lot of trouble inside I think there should be an outer venting you know for me martial art was that when I would hit the bag etc first it started off as that yeah as a young boy I used to do martial arts but I got into it more seriously in 2013 so whenever I would hit the bag I would feel that my troubles just I'm throwing, I'm punching away the trouble, all that. So uh, yeah, discipline is the key in martial arts. So the form that I practice is uh, Kyokushin Karate. There, uh, the motto of our karate is uh, never give up. The key to winning is to take as much punishment as you can. So we have this conditioning drill where uh, we just stand and people hit you. So, and whenever like, you feel like giving up, our coach keep on shouting, never give up, never give up, never give up. So I think same in life. I think that is a very important aspect in life, is that in life, if you have an obstacle in front of you, you just break that obstacle. You just keep on hitting. Maybe today it's not breaking, tomorrow it's not breaking. One day, with your persistence, that you will break it. The key is to not give up. Uh, one of the things that I think everyone struggles with is, I think, uh, 
self-esteem, one's own identity. I think, I think that uh, I think everyone doubts their self at some point of a time. Like whatever we show to the world is uh, is not a true self, you know. So what? So there are a lot of expectations in life from everyone, like your family, your friends, your schools. So you can't live up to you can't live up to all of them. Autobiography of a Yogi was one book that saved my life. That uh, yeah, that that was one book that came. Uh, during a very important part of my life. So there, there was this beautiful uh, line that uh, uh, there was some Babaji, uh, Mahavatar Babaji, someone like that, who said this and it kind of hit me. It's like in life, you be like the ant who can separate the sugar from the sand. So even in scriptures, it's mostly sand. See, all, every books, there is no one ultimate book. Like Bible, Quran, Bhagavad Gita, all of them have good messages. But also it's man-made. It's also politically driven at that time. So certain things will be distorted. So while reading also, we have to pick up those things that make sense. And which does not, no point, no point accepting all that. Spirituality and martial arts, these two things, very important, I think. Uh, generally, people smoke, drink, or do substances because um, it's because uh, they don't have any uh, solution to the problem. So they want to run away. They want to forget it. But then after that whatever intoxication when it goes away again you're back to soberness it hits you back so then I kind of like realized after a point of excessive drinking smoking etc that no matter how much I do it like these problems will never go away so for that to go away like I'll have to face it inside you know that's where spirituality came into the picture. Like I left everything overnight. Left smoking, drinking. I started martial arts. And meditation is something which I think like you're with yourself for that, that many times. So you are facing your thoughts, your emotions. And when you are facing your thoughts and emotions, when you're inside yourself, there's no way to run away. So only way to deal with it is to accept it. So that acceptance kind of led me to here, like in a good good space now. Yeah. To be honest, I didn't like college. <laughs> no one does. Uh, yeah, like There's maximum. Of them. Yeah, like I was in Christ University. They're very strict uh, academically. Like the course is very good. If I look back now, like if I had taken it seriously, uh, I could have. Uh, done a business immediately through the course because they have all these projects that kind of help you to achieve all that but uh, that time like in India I don't think people are given that space that time to uh, take a proper decision mostly it's jumping everything's jumping 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 like by 22 you have to be here by 26 you have to be there I think that's kind of destructive because yeah, uh, in the end you are into something you have spent money into that but you're not really there you're not enjoying it you know Jack Ma is Alibaba's owner right so uh, he, he he says I saw this video it's very like inspiring he says like like if you like from 18 to 25 you should be a good student take it but he doesn't specify that 18 to 25 like you should also be given the space by your parents and the society a little more time to think what exactly you want to study huh. it doesn't matter like actually if I look back now class 10 results class 12 results doesn't matter 
like it doesn't matter it doesn't guarantee you where you're going to be in the next 10 years it doesn't matter even college like yes if you want a job it matters but that's what for me personally I didn't want to do a job because uh, I didn't believe in giving my time my precious time like nine hours of my life daily in a company in making someone else rich you know so uh, it's better to earn less and have more time for yourself and do something that you really want in life because anyways we don't know if there's another life yeah. so yeah so he says uh, till 25 be a good student learn then from 25 to 30 you work under someone okay that again is very important I didn't get that but uh, I did work under someone but he wasn't a good boss like he wasn't you need a role model your boss needs to be that role model even if it's a startup he says even if you work you work uh, under someone who is a role model like he's gonna teach you and some someone you want to aspire like there are many bosses who just want you to work they're not really role models right so that now even in this 25 to 30 time space even if you're trying new business you can uh, afford to make mistakes because you're still young you can learn from it so that is one beautiful message then 30 to 40 you really have to decide you really have to decide what you really want to do do you want to be an entrepreneur or do you want to work under someone all that then 40 to 50 he says that uh, it's kind of like it's not to try new things 40 to 50 if you're gonna do a new business then it's best that you do something that you know really well huh. like at that point of age it's not advisable to take that much risk then 50 to 60 he says that uh, you need to put faith in the younger generation because now you've lived that much you don't have the energy so you can give the more enthusiastic more motivated young generation the reins to your company and they'll run it for you and after 60 he said just to chill <laughs> live the life you've built yeah this is our chef Bimal. Bimal, say hi. hi. <laughs> uh, this is where the magic happens. <laughs>